Hey everyone, April Dunham here. In this video, I'll show a trick for how you can determine if the current user is logged into the mobile version of Power Apps or the desktop browser version. But first, here's the intro. Before we talk about how to implement this, let's address why we might want to know if the user is logged on with the mobile version of Power Apps or in the desktop. If you caught my deep linking video or the video on launching another Power App in the Power Apps mobile app, then you might be wondering, well, if the user is in the mobile application, I want to launch the native mobile apps, but if they're not, I want to open that up in the desktop. So how can you accomplish that? Well, you'll need a way to determine if your user is in the mobile app or if they're on the desktop to be able to make that happen. Now, let me preface this by saying there isn't some out of the box way to make this determination. So you have to do some kind of trickery to make that happen. It's actually really simple. There are a couple of different functions and power apps that only work on the mobile device. So we're going to key off of those to be able to tell if the user is on a mobile. Now to do this, you'll want to go to the visible property of your first screen here, which in my case is this app landing, and you'll see this set function we have here. All we're going to do is use a global variable that I'm calling var mobile or desktop, and we're going to use an if statement. And we're going to key off the location and acceleration functions. So we're going to say if the location altitude is greater than zero or the acceleration x is greater than zero, then we know this is a mobile device, else it's a desktop. I think someone on the Power App community forum actually posted this hack not too long ago, and I've used it a few times in some of my applications, and I've tried different variations of this, so you might be wondering, well, can I not just key off of the acceleration or, or just the location? Why do you need both of these? Well, Power Apps can be a little finicky, and sometimes it can take a minute for the acceleration check to take effect and same thing for the location. So just for my own trial and error, I found if you check for both of these different options here, seems to work for me all the time and be pretty reliable and consistent. And all this is really doing here is, you know, if you're in the desktop, you're not going to have altitude or acceleration values here. So they're going to be zero. So you know it's desktop, but if they're greater, then you know that we have those options and that's a mobile device. So pretty straightforward. Again, this is, I guess you would say a hack, quote unquote. So be a little bit cautious, I guess, um, if you use it. But in my testing, I found that this combination here has been pretty consistent and reliable. Now, if we wanted to take this full circle and make our deep linking work, and key off of that. First, you know, if you want to test it out before you roll this out, just insert a label and set its text to that variable so you can see what's getting outputted. So do some testing on your desktop, make sure that it says desktop and on mobile it says mobile. Now when we talk about deep linking, we can just key off of this variable. So on this icon here that we want to launch our application, we can just do an if, checking on that variable. And just as simple as that. So we can say if that variable is mobile, then use the URL scheme shortcode in the launch to launch that so it'll open up in the Power Apps native application. If it is not mobile, that means it's desktop. So launch the URL browser version of the application. So hopefully this brings full circle how you can implement deep linking and launching native applications within your Power Apps, but also accommodating for if you need to open up the desktop versions. I'll paste this variable check in the video notes so that you can copy and paste that. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.